Rocket League is a game that hasn't seen a whole lot of massive changes between when it first came out and today. But what that means is that there are more than likely features in the game that are being underutilized. One of which I think can be a big help in allowing players to rank up. And this mystery forgotten feature is exactly what we'll be exploring today. So, what is this feature, you might ask? Well, honestly, most players don't ever really see it, because when a game finishes, so many players just automatically leave the lobby as they queue up their next game. But if you stay in the lobby and hide the endgame scoreboard, what you will see is a bit of a highlight package from the match that was just played. Now, you guys might be thinking, okay, great, who cares about being able to see the goals and saves that were made during the game? What difference does it make? And to you, I say it can make a massive difference, because if you actually take the time to look through these replays and see where you might have gone wrong, there's a good chance that you can make better decisions in the next game you play. So today, that is exactly the idea we'll be exploring. As a game ends, we'll take the entire minute before we're kicked out of the lobby to review the replays that were shown. And based on those replays, we will try to make adjustments from game to game so that in each subsequent game, we perform better. Off we go here with game number one. Now, the main point of all of this is to make sure that we steadily improve from one game to the next. So, if this game isn't the most amazing, that's actually all right. That actually just gives us more information to play off of. Uh, this is unfortunate. Well, you know, not a great start. So, I lose the mid boost. Teammate also loses the mid boost. Then we, I beat him to the corner. Then we both get bumped. That's a bit of a disaster. And now teammate's gonna go after the ball, that's fine. I'll leave the mid moves for him, just to try to keep him happy, that's fine. Guess the challenge, this is gonna be a flat bounce, never mind. We force it though, teammate now has space. All good, we'll push over to the side with him, he's gonna go ahead and get another touch. I, Why is... You know, that is a fascinating demo from, from that guy, and I just got caught going for boost. Yep. Also, teammate is uh, super fond of the quick chat, so we're gonna try to disregard that. See what he does here. Steals the boost, and we got the goal. Nice. Good awareness there. Saw my teammate steal the boost from the opponent, so we know he's going to be low. We go ahead and jump up. Could have gone a bit earlier, but we do get a good goal there, so we're right back into it. Big kickoff coming through. Trying to go for a bump here. Not quite. Teammate with a bit of a poor touch. We actually missed their corner as well, but we'll be back in net. Teammate's going to have the first challenge and the second one. Go ahead and challenge this guy. Just bump him off. Stay in the way of this. Got the block. Sure, we're gonna lose that boost, that's fine. Teammate does have a little bit of boost to challenge this, there he goes. We're still on zero here, that's not in. Go ahead and play this out, we lose the boost. What is force? Give me this boost. It's fine, teammate with the ball. I somehow got dodged, that's fascinating. Teammate with the challenge, I'm not gonna be able to win this. We'll just wait patiently. Get the block. Play it downfield. Bang! Let's go! What a shot! We love those. Oh, we got a flip reset off of that. That was beautiful from us. All the way around, taking advantage of some good play there. Teammate's gonna cut. That's fine. We'll let him. He can go for it. No worries. We'll play a bit softer. We have a 50 here at least. Teammate's gonna respawn. There he is. Nicely done. Just play this to the side. Got the block. Over to Teammate, actually. The net's open. Unfortunate. That's sad. Good attempt, though. All the way around. We're on zero boost here. Ah, uh, of course, the boost just spawned. We'll just force out, then. Teammate should be fine, and he is. He's gonna go again. Need to start reading this teammate, because he is being a little wonky. But we should expect him to be wonky. Watch the bump. Yeah, the GC guy is the one behind us, so expect the bump there. We'll get the clear, though. That's not on target. It's fine. Should have passed that. Play this up the wall, put it in an awkward spot. Teammate should be fine. Play this around. Not the touch I wanted. We'll just force, though. Totally fine. Teammate's right there. Teammate scores. Okay, we're good. You know what? Somehow, we're back in this game. Teammate's a little bit wonky, so we just gotta be aware of that. But that's not the end of the world. We can deal with a wonky teammate. Also, we just absolutely dusted these guys. Teammate is on the ceiling. That Luckily, I got bumped back into my defensive half, so, you know, we have a chance here. Okay. Play that around, I guess. Take the boost. Take things slow. 50 out. Straight down. Teammate up. Good attempt. 
Teammate might chase this. Bad shot. Teammate's gonna be in trouble here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, run. Not gonna get back in time, unfortunate. Yeah, I knew he was gonna be in trouble as soon as I hit that directly into the opponent. Probably should have played for possession there over to the side. Wouldn't have been that big of an issue just to not take the shot in that position. Go ahead and get this out. We're gonna get tripped. That's fine. We'll bump him out. I somehow missed the boost. Teammate gets beat. That's just gonna be in the net. I don't even know if it mattered if I missed the boost or not there. I think it's gonna be in the net regardless. Go ahead and force high. No double. Fantastic. Still have time. No reason to panic yet. Teammate with the dribble. Here he goes. Play it to my teammate. Back mid. Good try. Just gonna try to play this for possession. Yeah, we're getting chased. Saw that coming. Go ahead and get the clear. Force forward. Bump. Teammate. Good try. He's probably gonna stay on this. He is. We're crept a little far forward here. Go ahead and get the 50. We're on zero boost. Just gonna have to do what we can here. Try to get it into the air. Ah, it's gonna be down. Okay. Not a bad game. Definitely a bit, you know, rough around the edges for sure. I think that's going to be us losing our GC2 as well, but meh, who cares? This is what we want to look at. Yeah, it's us losing our GC2. But let's just take a look at these replays in the background and see what we can glean from them. So first goal, nothing special. This one's really bad. That's just poor awareness from me. Just thinking I have time to go over to the corner boost when I clearly don't. This one, I should have jumped a little bit faster as well, so need to be a little bit more proactive in what we're going for. Uh, also, another thing, we found ourselves on zero boost a lot. Even in that replay there, we saw ourselves coming in with zero boost, so we're gonna need to make sure our boost management's better. We're gonna wanna make sure we're more proactive in what we're going for. We're gonna wanna make sure our awareness is nice and solid so that we're not leaving our teammate in very awkward situations. So those are the things that I think we're gonna target as we go into game two. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. All right, game number two. Let's turn this one around. Let's see what we can do here. Hopefully we have a teammate who's a little less quick chatty. Would, would be nice so that that doesn't serve as a distraction, but you know, we'll work with what we got. We have time to go get this boost here. Let's go ahead and apply the pressure. That's fine, nothing dangerous here. Other opponents all the way back. That's going to our corner, we're totally fine. Really gonna wanna focus on the awareness here. Opponent coming in, make sure we got that challenge. I'll take the mid boost here because teammate should be ready. There he is. Opponent up, see what we got. Weak touch, but other opponents there. Play the bounce. Good touch by my teammate. Oh, I just didn't jump fast enough. I knew it was coming too. Saw it happening. Just didn't quite jump fast enough. Teammate. Oh boy. We might recover. We do. Good save, teammate. I shouldn't have jumped there. We're on zero boost. Not gonna win this ball. I'm just gonna take the mid. Other opponents here. This is fine. Play the bounce. Or not. That's fine. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Not a good play for me. Should have just left it. Unfortunate. That's just not smart on my part. Happens though. Clean it up. We're good. Only down one. This isn't... Like any, by any means, a game we can't win. They haven't done anything spectacular. What a save. Well done, teammate. Looks like he's going to chase this. I'll just wait mid patiently for him. He's off the ceiling. He's got his flip. I'm dead again. Tried to avoid that one. Just couldn't. Can I spawn on the right side? I can. Teammate's going to challenge first. Good block. Let's pop this along. Just control. I'll force 50 here. That's fine. Wait for the clear over here. Keep it in. Teammate. Let's get it out of here. Take their boost as well. Block it. I'm out. Teammate wasn't quite ready, although we did have two defenders on it, so not much we were really going to be able to do. Fake. Teammate went all the way back. I thought he might be turning, even with zero boost. Got that out of here? Nope. Around one. Awkward for sure, but we make it work. Bad touch from that guy, but the other opponent's over there. Good touch by my teammate. Got the block. Go ahead and get out now. Miss the mid boost. It's fine. Wouldn't have had a play anyway. Over one. Couldn't quite get up in time. 
Teammate, you got that? He does. Okay, cool. Got that out. Would have wanted a bit more control there, probably. It's fine. I think they just saved their own shot. Killed one. Lost the boost. Teammate does have control, though. See what he can do with it. Good 50. Keep it going, teammate. Sure. Let's go. What a play, teammate. Again, good awareness there. Recognizing where the opponents were. Making use of it. Luckily, my horrible jump from earlier is not going to cost us. We're playing pretty solid defense right now. It's just a matter of not being dumb with our opportunities. Power shot? Nice! Let's go. Caught it out. Saw him going for the boost. We take the shot. Put him in an awkward spot. Recognize that he's flipping back. Recognize we have time. Don't panic. Just take what they give us and go for the goal. 15 seconds to the win here. I'm not even going to go for that mid boost. I'm just going to come back. Teammate should have. He does. I'm getting out of his way so we can continue on. Good win. He's going to get that mid boost. That's fine. I'll just take some more pads. That's cool. He can just stay on. I'll just wait patiently. Uh-huh. Yep, he's going again. That's fine. We're beat to this. This is not on target, though. I'm just going to fake this. And there we go. Okay. Game number two in the books. That was significantly better in terms of awareness for sure. Save that one really bad jump that we had. But let's let's see what the replay tells us. See if there's anything to gleam overall from this. So this was a bad double commit for sure. Just recognize your teammates in front of you. Don't worry about it. Don't try that hard to go for something that dumb. And uh, honestly, the one goal we gave up, it was just because we overcommitted on offense on our own behalf. We, we weren't paying attention. We just dove unnecessarily. Defensively, outside of like that dive right there where our teammate covered for us, I think we did a pretty good job of just staying in front of the play and making sure that we weren't giving them free opportunities. I think we can still do a better job of awareness. That's probably the biggest one is just really keeping an eye on everyone and making sure that we're doing what is best in our given situation. So let's really focus on that as we go into game three, and let's see if we can lock in at least a two in one day. Game number three, we know exactly what we need to do. So now it's all about just going out and executing. Decent kickoff, just gonna go back here. Teammates getting kinda hounded. Go ahead and get that save. Awkward for this guy, just force him. It's fine, we can turn back around. Teammate with the clear. Just play patient in the midfield here, watch for the pass. Or the shot from Goose. What a shot indeed. Banger. Lovely start, just like that. What you like to see. We're playing patient. We're playing calm. Allowing ourselves to actually maintain vision around the field, which is big. I'm just going to stay on this. Bit of a heavy touch for sure. Let's go. We got the speed on that one. Saw what was happening there. The defender was coming back. So rather than just leaving this loose touch to be easily saved, we go ahead and take that one past the defense. Lovely stuff for sure. This one's going to roll. Where's the opponents over the top? What a save, honestly. I could have probably scored that if I had shot it better, but that's still a good touch from them. I can't turn on this yet. Not in. Just backflip it to the corner. Force out. Goose is on the wall. Should be fine. Does have the clear. That might honestly just be in the net. It is! Okay, well, we are off to a fantastic start here in the first minute. We cannot complain to what is going on right now. It is it is going swimmingly, some might say. But we need to stay locked in. Awareness needs to stay up. We need to just maintain ideas of what's going on. Zab is waiting. This is a free ball. That's a f that is not a good 50. Luckily, teammates on the backboard. Needler's gonna cut that. That's fine. It's right back to Goose. See what he does with it. I missed. Unfortunate. Oh, good luck, teammate. Good challenge. At least gonna give me a chance to get back. Okay, bad shot. We, we were a little bit awkward in net there. Get that out of here. Goose maybe wins the race. I think he does. And we catch the defense rotating a little too hard. Take advantage of it. Saw the dude rotating hard in from the midfield. Just go ahead and play it right out. And just like that, we're going to secure the win in game three. So definitely a rough start to the day there in game one. 
but slowly but surely we've utilized our resources that are just provided by the game to really understand where we might be going wrong. Those small adjustments that we do make from game to game can honestly be the biggest difference between winning and losing in games we play in the future. Of course, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you who made it to this point in the video, and I do hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you do try this out on your own, feel free to let me know how it goes for you down in the comments. Let me know if it has the same positive impact on you that it did for me. Of course, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you click that subscribe button right down below so you make sure you don't miss any future Rocket League content. Additionally, if you'd like to be a bit more involved in the community we're building here, feel free to join my Discord, which I'll have linked down in the description. And as always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. See you later, guys.